Back to Brian Shishi Left Nothing. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to create something like this. It's actually something that's called differential growth, and I don't know exactly what is this, uh, but you might actually see this kind of pattern in nature. Um, I think the one that's obvious is it's looking a little bit like your brain. Um, if you search for differential growth on Google, you will see a lot of example. This is kind of like a pattern that you might see in, in nature. Uh, this is coral leaf. It's quite nice. Sometimes you see this also in some flowers and also cloth. I think you can think of it like if you have you start with the lines or like uh, in 2D or 3D, the lines, if you make the line keeps growing, the line can grow in the different pattern. And sometimes it makes this kind of pattern like a and it's called differential growth and I got this from um, Asahi Asahi Dari-san uh, he I think he made this uh, scripted node for Sprechok so you need to have the Sprechok add-on installed and uh, with this scripted node differential growth SN light you can just download the code and inside the zip, you will find uh, the scripted night, uh, scripted node light that you can use inside uh, Blender with Sverchok. Okay, so there's the one that's grows on mesh. There's the one that grows on 2D. Okay, so that aside, the node itself is very simple, but I will start from scratch. So delete everything. So I already have Sverchok and the latest Sverchok installed. If you haven't updated, you can always check for new version and just upgrade it. And all we need for this, uh, spread of nodes, shift A scripted node light. Okay, this, this node will do the job if we provide the script from Asahi Dari. So create a text editor. So we're gonna open the scripted node there or just drag and drop it. So this is the 2D one. The scripted node looks like this. You you can take a look, have a read. Um, it's quite complex, but for us the 2D for us the 2D artists, we just we can just use this. Okay. After we re reload, we're gonna see uh, some kind of result. So I start with a circle. This is for example, I will use viewer draw. I'll save this very quickly. Differential draw. So by default, circle will create a circle with a polygon. We don't need the polygon, we just need the edge. And we're gonna make this edge to grow like a, like a brain, maybe a little bit like fungi, some, some of the fungi or mushroom growth this way vertices edges we just plug that in and like that and then we just do reload we're gonna get 10 steps by default and we have nothing because we need to scrub here frame number so in order to make this easier, I will just plug the frame info into the frame number so we can scrub here. So that's 10 frame by default. We can increase this to 50, reload. So from this circle, imagine the circle kind of growing by itself and the differential growth algorithm will kick in and automatically we get something cool. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're gonna try and learn today. Um, we can make this a little bit more interesting, perhaps if we use like some kind of vertex boundary. So in, in case of Asahi Dari example, he uses this heart shape. So, so it's gonna try, this line will grow and try to fit within the boundary I think I haven't managed to make this working but 
there's also the one that's growth on the mesh um, this one also you can try yourself I haven't tried this it might it seems complicated I mean try to understand this first this idea you can you can increase the step to 250 and then reload be careful this might take a while if I'm not wrong if you install another a module you can make this faster but yeah it's not too bad 250 you have you start with just a basic circle and then it's gonna grow by itself okay so by default if I'm if we are just using viewer draw we need to hit bake in order to turn this into something that you can render this is a polygon edge you can right click convert this to curve and then you can uh, increase the depth so this is one way one way to do this to in order to render or you can use mesh viewer if you want to mesh viewer will generate polygon in this case polygon edge so instead of just viewer draw preview you have an actual edge uh, with the edge you can use skin modifier I think yeah skin modifier is actually really cool and fast okay that's the second way to do it another way is to use polyline polyline viewer so it's uh, this is gonna generate curve in the and then you can make it cyclic so this curve is can be nice and smooth you can turn on you can increase the resolution preview so this is one two three four okay so it's gonna get smoother and smoother yeah okay so we have this circle growing into that shape right so pretty cool so we start from nothing and we have this beautiful pattern so if we want to have like a heart shape I think we can we can do that I haven't tried this I'm gonna create a cube go to edit mode right click um, merge at center now in the top view just gonna extrude this this is gonna be the boundary for our circle that's growing make, gonna make this smaller so hopefully hopefully the circle will grow into the shape of the heart object data in get selection it's gonna be the boundary try make it 100 frame and then reload it's gonna calculate <clears throat> yeah actually I haven't managed to make this working properly doesn't seem to be using the heart boundary somehow but you can start with a heart shape itself if you want to but you need to make sure the vertex is in order so by default the vertex is not in order so you need to use the vertex sorting and then use connections so vertices and edges goes there search for limit yes and simply use this let's try 50 reload so it's using it's the starting point it's become the heart shape and then it's gonna grow so if you keep this running for a couple more frame it's gonna calculate few seconds sometimes it might take a minute if it's really complicated okay so we have something 
<clears throat> so I think you can try like a different shape I don't think it will work if we have if you have something like this like a two heart shape get selections and reload it might complain to separate lanes yeah apparently it's not it's not too bad it's merging both of them there's some kind of error happening with the lines there but it's still try to do something so you can I believe if you take a read as at some articles about differential growth you will understand this a little bit better kind of like sometimes looking a little bit like ink or maybe like a if the plant growing a good example might be your uh, your brain or maybe like a, what's something inside your body anyway if you try to fit a pipe inside your body as uh, like as long as possible so like intestines yeah so that's what one way to think about it <clears throat> you can start uh, you can try uh, let's see if we write like a So this is some grease pencil. Actually, this is like annotations. Let me delete this. Shift A, create grease pencil blank. And then I'm gonna draw something. Let's just draw, yeah, blend. And then right click convert this into Bezier curve now we have curve this is too dense for our thing so clean up the curve decimate it okay so we have something to work with the better way is to use uh, maybe just we can just load it try get selected object and then reload so scripted node light um, this is pretty powerful uh, to do this kind of thing <clears throat> okay so it's merging everything into a single line it's growing eventually it's kind of becoming this weird pattern it's quite alien but I think still pretty cool so this is thanks to Asahi Dari son okay this is the one I will create maybe I will have to create another another video to make this working in two in 3d on the surface or in 3d um, yeah something like this heart shape Maybe I need to try this boundary, try to make this working for this boundary. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, look, you might have seen something like this with a grasshopper or what's another one? Houdini. So I feel like Houdini can do this kind of growth. Boom. From this text, okay, this. I think it's a bit like mushroom, like fungi. I don't know. You might find this. You might be able to use this with uh, maybe with geometry nodes. I think it's gonna be really cool. But give this a try anyway. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, thanks again, Asahi Dari, to let me know about this. To try. Thanks to make this code. Uh, super useful just download it from github differential growth as in light by As asahi dari um, yeah try to make this one yourself the one with the uh, 
with a 3D surface and see how it goes. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.